Good morning everyone. Welcome to my Friday morning video blog. Uh, I have some interesting questions uh, to read to you and to hopefully give the right answers. Uh, question number one. Could I talk more about the difference between white and pink light? Okay, well, um, white light is what we use to surround us and protect us and keep us connected to God and spirit. Uh, we use white light to um, send out to anything that's dark or negative. Uh, I would send white light again to terrorists. I would send white light um, to fill a room if I was concerned that there was negative energy in it or there are particularly negative people in it. I would absolutely send light to a, let's just say, a court situation, uh, into a hospital room. I, I'm forever sending white light. Now, pink light I use in a different way. Pink light I use for uh, sending to people who rub you the wrong way or you have a push-pull relationship with. Because if you send out a negative thought form to someone, frustration, anger, jealousy, judgment, uh, annoyance, when you send those thoughts out to people, what happens is it comes back to you. What would be the point of um, having it come back to you in a negative way? So what we want to do is we want to send pink light and love, love from our hearts to that person. Do I expect you to feel it right away? No, absolutely not. But you will when you see how it works. Because when you send that pink light out, it comes back to you in a wonderful way. And those that you're close to, it also helps uh, everyone and everything on this planet. And it may help resolve the issue with that person that you're not too happy with or make them a nicer person. So that's the reason why we use it. And that is the difference between the two. Question number two. How do you know the difference between being a medium and having a mental illness? Okay. Well, um, in my experience, many people have come to me with um, even diagnoses of schizophrenia, uh, bipolar mania, paranoia, uh, various different things. Um, they believe that there's something wrong with them because they're hearing things, they're seeing things, uh, they're feeling things, they hear chatter in their head, they don't know where it's coming from. They just generally sometimes feel like they're not alone in their rooms, they're being crowded, somebody's watching them. Well, sure, there is certain mental illness, but again, in my experience, I'm gonna say at least 75% of the cases that come through my door are really psychic or mediums. I can't help it. That's just the way that it is. As soon as I begin to explain to them, actually, I don't even let them talk to me. I explain to them I, what I think. I tell them the story of their soul, and their head is nodding, and they're saying, yes, yes, that's me. That's how I feel. This is what I hear in my ears, ringing and, and buzzing and, and tunnel sounds and chatter sometimes. Um, sometimes there's so much talk in your head, and sometimes it, the uh, spirit is almost like good cop, bad cop, uh, and you're hearing this kind of chatter and you're hearing that kind of chatter, of course you're going to think you're crazy. Of course you are. But you're not. You just have to learn. You have to become educated. You have to know how to set boundaries because you are in charge, not spirit. You just don't know that. Uh, okay, question number three. Can a person who has had a lot of trauma in their lives be a medium? Absolutely. Uh, most of the people that come in here have trauma. Um, some people have trauma that makes my head want to spin. It's so incredible to me what their lives have been like, the abuse that they've had, uh, what they've gone through, and only to find out that they're very, very, very connected, super connected. I have people, again, that come in with extreme depression, extreme anxiety, can't sleep at night, can't go in crowds, feel everybody's energy. Well, those are the empaths. Those are the empaths. Those are the mediums and the healers. They feel everything. Again, it's all about education. It's all about learning how to put up boundaries, how to understand what you're going through, where it's coming from. You'll be fine, okay? You will be fine. Call my office. We'll talk. Um, I also just want to throw out again, I threw this out last week. I want to mention again, 
please use that light that I talked about. Send white light to the political campaigns. Send white light to, again, draw to us the president that is going to be for the highest good of all concerned on this planet, not just the country, on the planet. And I want to, again, say thank you. Please share these videos. Um, the more people that see them, the more people that get educated. And uh, I'll see you again next week. Thank you, and have a great day.